Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Thursday. We got six matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. On our way to 20k subs, so definitely helps out the channel. And also go ahead and uh, check out BetMGM, guys. Bet5, get 150 in bonus bets. An amazing promo. Go ahead and take advantage. In the description below, uh, other great offers with FanDuel DraftKings, Bet365. Uh, yeah, a lot of action. Get ready for the weekend here, so a good way to build up that bankroll. If you guys aren't already using these books, they're very good. And uh, yeah, we'll hop in it. Lighter slate today. Just the six matchups. Starting with the Phoenix Suns versus the Boston Celtics. Boston opening up as a six-point home favorite with the over-under at 227.5. Suns coming into this matchup 38-27. and 27. Boston 51-14. and 14. Head to head, Boston two and one in the last three head to head meetings. Um, no Porzingis for this matchup, and then uh, Jalen Brown's questionable. Phoenix coming off a Cleveland win, they lost by they just played Boston two games ago. Uh, they lost by ten. Boston on a three game winning streak. They're eight and two in their last ten right now. Uh, Phoenix. They're nine and three covering on the road against Boston, so they've been good, been able to cover on the road, which is definitely good. But just as of late, Phoenix one and six covering in their last seven. Uh, this spread is pretty much identical to the last meeting, and uh, they weren't able to close it out. Uh, Boston seven and zero at home right now, nine and two covering the spread. The unders hit in six of the last seven games against Phoenix. Um. So maybe the under is a decent play. For me, I don't know. It's kind of hard to bet against Boston at home. Um, I think Suns can keep it close, but they weren't able to cover last time. And uh, yeah, I think I got to lean with the Celtics minus six and money line at home here. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Chicago Bulls. Clippers opening up as a six and a half point road favorite with the over under at 215. Clippers coming into this matchup 41 and 23. The Bulls 32 and 34. Head to head. The Clippers 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Kawhi Leonard questionable. We saw him le like leave the game last game. That was very weird. So I don't know what's going on with Ka Kawhi Leonard. We'll see if he plays. James Harden also questionable. Uh, no Kobe White for Chicago. Clippers on a two-game losing streak. They did beat Chicago three games ago, 112 to 102. Chicago coming off a big Pacers win last night. That was a big win for them on the road. Clippers are 12 and three against Chicago, 14 and four on the road against Chicago. Uh, this one's pretty easy for me because uh, I see Harden and Kawhi are questionable. If Kawhi is out. Not in love with the Clippers, especially if Kawhi and Harden are out. But um, as long as Chicago's not resting anybody, and if Kawhi Leonard's out, I don't know. If Kawhi Leonard's out, I like the Bulls plus six and a half at home. I know they're coming off a tough, tough win last night. And um, yeah, without Kawhi Leonard, not in love with the Clippers. And you know, no Westbrook, so I'm missing some pieces there. I'm going to take a shot with the Bulls plus six and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks opening up as an eight and a half point home favorite with the over under at 219 and a half. Sixers coming into this matchup 36 and 29. The Bucks 42 and 24. Head to head, Milwaukee 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Um, don't see any major injuries. No Chris Middleton for Milwaukee, but I mean, he's missed a bunch of games as it is. Billy coming off a just a horrible loss against the Knicks. Um, they lost by about 20 in their last meeting to the Bucks. Bucks coming off a tough Sacramento loss. I think it's a good bounce back for them here. Uh, Philly 3 and 11 against the Bucks. 5 and 15 on the road against the Bucks. They've been pretty bad against Milwaukee here. And yeah, this Philly team is just very bad without Embiid. And um, I think it's a big bounce back game for the Bucks. Give me the Bucks minus eight and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Washington Wizards versus the Houston Rockets. 
Houston opening up as a seven and a half point home favorite with the over under at 225 and a half. Wizards coming into this matchup 11 and 54. Houston 30 and 35. Head to head Houston seven and three in the last 10 head to head meetings. Washington two and eight in their last 10 coming off a Memphis loss. Houston on a three game winning streak coming off a Spurs win. They're five and one in their last six right now. Uh, Washington, one and nine on the road, one and five covering on the road against Houston. Don't see any major injuries here. Obviously, no sanguine for Houston, who will be out for a while. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take a shot with Houston minus seven and a half and money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Dallas Mavericks versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder opening up as a ten and a half point home favorite with the over under at two thirty five and a half. Dallas coming into this matchup 38 and 28. The Thunder 45 and 20. Head to head Dallas 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. The spread is the way it is because I have as I feel like Luca's not going to play today coming off a of back to back. Uh, Mavs playing great on a four game winning streak coming off a Warriors win. Thunder coming off a bad Pacers win. Or, I'm sorry, bad Pacers loss. Um. So yeah, probably going to be no Luca. We'll see. If, we'll, it, I don't know. It's possibly could play, but I'm going to assume Luca's out based on the spread. Uh, Dallas four and two on the road against the Thunder. They've been good on the road covering the spread. That's you know one and seven covering against the Thunder. That's been not good. Uh, Thunder nine and one at home where they've played very well. The overs hit in each of the last six head-to-head -head meetings. So maybe the overs a good play, but um. Obviously no Luka, but 10 and a half points, you know, this is still a good Mavs team. And um, I expect big games from Kyrie, Tim Hardaway, and some of these other guys. 10 and a half points, second half of the season for, a, you know, two good teams. I'll take a shot with Dallas plus 10 and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Knicks versus the Portland Trail Blazers. Knicks opening up as an 11 and a half point road favorite with the over under at 205 and a half. Knicks coming into this matchup 38 and 27. The Blazers 19 and 46. Head to head, the Knicks 2 and 1 in the last three head to head meetings. Uh, don't see any major injuries in this matchup. Knicks coming off a big Sixers win. Portland coming off an Atlanta win. Uh, Nick six and two covering against Portland, so they've been very good head to head here. Portland just two and ten at home, and then now that the Knicks got OG back, that definitely helps out the offense. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Knicks minus eleven and a half. Throw them in your parlays on the road today. And that's gonna be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.